Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Today went to the mall with my family and I happened to stop by the coin slash bullion store in the mall. Didn't really plan on picking up anything, but I've been keeping my eye on a 10 ounce RCM silver bar. And you know, every time I pop in, I'd say every week or so, the price either dips down a little bit, but this time it spiked up. So uh, I decided, hmm, maybe I'll hold off. But I did spy on this five ounce old poured bar. And um, it was only $107.60 Canadian. So basically a tiny bit over 10% over spot. And I love these old poured bars. And I thought, it, um, they're just charging me a little bit over spot, basically, you know, selling it as a piece of bullion. But I believe uh, there is some sort of collector's value. So I thought for um, return on investment, buying this, I would have an instant profit as opposed to buying the 10 ounce recognized bar from the Royal Canadian Mint. Uh, wouldn't know, you know, when. I would make a decent profit other than you know the spikes in silver prices but this is pretty cool so it says here peace arch refining corp so where i live i'm close to vancouver bc canada and every time we go cross-border shopping we uh, drive i'd say about an hour towards the uh, canada u.s uh, washington state border we have to go to, well, we can go to the Peace Arch border and see that image right there. There's actual, actually a monument over there, uh, right at the border. And saying, I think it says something like, you know, we're all brothers or children from the same mother, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, referring to Canada and the U.S. And um, anyways, with this bar, it's five ounces, 999.9 fine and it's numbered and before I bought it uh, I actually had the um, clerk weigh it for me and it actually is two grams over five ounces troy ounces so just to make sure it wasn't shaved down or whatnot and there's a little bit of scratches from uh, people testing the silver so I guess that is a usual thing you find on these especially uh, unrecognized bars, some on the back. As a collector, you know, I, I wish they didn't have these, but you know, it's um, something to expect, be expected. But I thought, hmm, pretty cool bar. Haven't decided what to do with it, either keep it for a while, keep it in my collection, or um, maybe just uh, sell it online. But what do you think? You think I could list it for 200 uh, American? Would that be uh, realistic? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this find. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.